Hey, we've got a billion dollar recipe for you today <laughs> in the kitchen this morning with Nick Raybar from Avenue N. This is a good one. Uh, this is a good one. Yeah. I'm trying to wrap my head around it. I don't, know what, I don't know if we did it right. Corn chowder salad. Yeah. I'm picturing a bowl of lettuce and then corn chowder is like the dressing. I know. It's kind of freaking me out. So it's like, I, <laughs> like we wrote it with like the quotes over salad. salad. I think the quote should be over the chowder. Okay. Because corn really it's a chowder. corn salad. Oh, okay. So, so I think that's it. You remove okay. the word that the quotations right. are in. So we have a corn salad. Corn chowder. But it's corn salad. chowder salad. Okay. Okay. Because basically what we're doing is creating a side dish. Uh, the oh. corn is the star, yeah, and it has some of the ingredients that you would see in a chowder. Well, I it doesn't have potato, hot, yep. heavy cream and melted butter though. So okay, it has. Good. <laughs> so what it has is like chowder has a few must-haves. Yes. Chowder has to have potatoes. Yes. Chowder has to have a pork of some sort. Okay. Chowder has to have some onions. You know, yep. like there's all these things. So mm -hmm. like when I make corn chowder, I start by sauteing celery and onions. Okay. Yep. So we have celery and onions that we're going to put in here today. I have some corn which I just lightly cooked in. Uh, salted water, okay. removed it from the cob. I have some red bliss potatoes, same thing. Salted water, chop them up. Mm -hmm. um, some scallion. Now we're gonna make a warm bacon dressing to go Ooh, on this. Ho, ho, ho. So it's okay. like, so, and that's so simple because I have a little bit of Dijon, just a little, little bit, and I have some honey. Yeah. And then that. some uh, vinegar, olive mm -hmm. oil, salt, pepper. Super simple. You've created dressings with this sort of base before. Oh, all the, time. the honey, the vinegar, all the, the mustard, yes. and then maybe add in a couple other things. Well, you know what I do? Like, my signature sort of like vinaigrette yeah. is a lot of people will use different ratios, like uh, one part vinegar to three parts oil to sort of cut that acidity. Yeah. I like to use honey to cut the acidity. Okay. So yeah. I almost use equal parts vinegar and oil, mm -hmm. and then I and go then in with honey. Because that, to me, makes fabulous balance. You can mm -hmm. do that without the Dijon, and we might actually. I might toss the Dijon out the window and say no Dijon today. But Just get it out of here. Be gone with this Dijon. But like the, the Dijon helps emulsify it. Yeah. So when you emulsify something, it's like if you take water and oil and mm. put it in a glass, they're going to be separated. Yes. Certain things help bind things, and mustard has that effect, especially yeah. if you follow the proper way. So you put I a little like mustard that. in the bowl. Then you go in with some of your acid, which mm -hmm. is gonna be the vinegar today. You whisk that together, yeah. and then if you slowly go in with your oil, it emulsifies the dressing so that it's not all broken all over the place. A lot of chefs talk about creating like that balance on the yes. plate, and you do. You have to think of those opposites to counter each other, and 100%. in this case, yeah, the sweetness versus the acidity, and, and that's really nice. I think that's a good takeaway for our viewers. Yeah. You're creating anything, and they, you want a good yeah. balance of flavor. Yes, we may have taught today. Look at us. First, we, we started off you know a little what? bumpy. We didn't know what the wording was, even. We didn't, we didn't even have that We didn't know now. where to put the quotes. But we educated as, the, yes, as we it did. went on. And I love texture, too. So, like, when I make this dressing, not only am I going to put the bacon in, like, I'm going to toast the bacon a little bit, like, break up some of the fat so you get that flavor. But Ooh, I'm also okay. going to put in a little bit of fresh crumbs at the end, too. Nice. So, it has a little bite to it. And, Good. you know, corn itself has some bite to it. I like a that. A little raw celery. Mm -hmm. Like, it, all these things go together. It so, you're talking works. about balance. It all works. It, it all works. Works. All works. This is the road show. All right. Well, it's uh, all working. <laughs> it is all working. <laughs> we have the recipe up online, and we're going to get cooking in just a little bit. Back to you. <laughs> we're in the road show kitchen this morning. Nick Graybar's here from Avenue N. We've got some corn chowder salad yeah. on the menu. It's tonight. corn chowder salad. Corn chowder salad. On it's the corn menu. chowder. It's very confusing. I could hear. The, I could smell the the bacon that you were making. That, you know what? It doesn't take much with you. Right? In fact, yeah, I, we turned could. On the yeah, bacon. Eric, right? I we turned on. Yeah. Yes, we could smell. I it. turned on the bacon for you. <laughs> For you. Thank you, it doesn't take much. It's like like the old cartoons where like the, uh, the animals just floating like, through the like air a bloodhound coming, towards coming the aroma. Here. Well, it worked. Okay. It worked because this came out unbelievable. So I made a warm bacon vinaigrette. That's Ooh, what you were smelling. That's what I was smelling. So I took a little bit of Dijon. I took honey. I took some vinegar, um, olive oil, salt, pepper. Yeah. I whisked it together and I put in some this bacon. Fantastic. Now the great news is it tastes like bacon. The downside is, is the bacon gets a little soft. So I put some bacon aside just for you, Will, which we're going to add to the salad so you get some of that crispy, that a crispy bacon. Now, what's going on with corn chowder salad? What's going it's on? It's not a bowl of mixed greens with some hot corn chowder slapped on top, all right? Okay. Let's just call it corn salad. Okay. All right, that eliminates all of the what the heck is he talking about yes, today. Yes. But most of the time when I make like a potato salad, sometimes I'll add a little corn to it. Yep. But I don't often make a corn salad where I add potato to it. Got so it. that's that's the that's today's little spiel. So I'm going to go in with some fresh off the cob corn. 
which, you know, it's showtime for corn now. It is. You know, it's August. I was in the market yesterday and they August, had yeah. it piled up. And they have yeah. it. It's yeah. ready It's ready yeah. to go. So now I'm going to go with potatoes. So corn is the star. Mm -hmm. Potatoes are sort of the sidekick today. All right? I'm going to go in with some celery. Chopped. Now, let's talk about textures, Will, because you know how important that is to me. Some items need to be cooked. You can't go in with raw potato. You can't go in with raw corn. Right. So those items I just par cooked in a little bit of salt and water. Okay. I cooled them down because this is going to be like a room temperature salad. But celery, you want raw because yeah. that's going to add nice crunch. crunch. All right. A little bit of red onion. Not too much because red onion can be very dominant. It can be strong It can be very yeah. strong. But I like it. Like, I like to. you ever put red onion on a burger and oh, like absolutely. that spice yes. that it yes. adds yes. to yes. it? Yes, it does. Like, I you pay it. the price for a good half hour I afterwards, but whatever. Yeah. A whatever. little scallion. All of these are components, Will, that you would see in chowder, okay? okay right. All of them go in chowder. You have <laughs> potato, you have onion, you have celery, okay? You have a little bit of pork. So I'm using bacon here today, a Will Gilbert favorite. Yes. And I'm gonna whisk this up, which is that great dressing, and we're gonna put in just enough to coat it, all right? We don't want it like swimming. swimming. Right. Swimming, you know how important that is mm -hmm. to me, is that we don't want it swimming. We want enough to coat it, and we're gonna season with salt, and we're gonna hit it with a little bit of pepper. All right, so mm -hmm. let's mix that up. And this is your side dish. This is what we're talking about here. You know, Dude, look at how good you, know that you really missed out last week, buddy. Oh, I, I, I you know. missed out last I week. I know, I'm sure I did. I know you had a fabulous time, uh, yeah. but I was deep frying cheese I, stuff. I saw what you chicken, were doing. Chicken, meatballs, I watched, and I made some other thing that I don't even I remember. Watched, I watched. But they were very Will Gilbert esque I'm sure they were. dishes. Uh, and now you're coming back to corn. All right, but, okay. but corn works because, again, it's loaded with bacon. So let's hit it up with that. You have all of that vinaigrette in there. That looks awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. And it's, and it's you know, again, just call it corn salad. Mm -hmm. But again, you got to have a little fun sometimes. And when you're doing, when you're doing the show 500 times, you got to come up with something new here. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can't just keep coming up and making calzones every other week. I got work to do. So let's put that there. That looks nice. And Will, look. You're going to give me a little something? I don't oh, know. I no, ask. no, no. You don't even need to do that. Look in front of you, Will. Oh, you got it right here. You are, you're oh, all look set. At this. This you're is all like, set. It's like special at home, I today. eat with a spoon. Okay. Tracy calls a shovel. I just I go like this. I have no time to eat. She is there doing like so elegantly and gracefully eating with her fork and I'm just shoveling everything in. So I got a shovel for you there. Isn't it great? Bacon, Fantastic. bacon everywhere. And corn, like you can taste the fresh corn. It makes an enormous difference. Don't, like if you're stir frying and you really, really, really want to use some frozen corn, by all means use right. frozen corn. But you can't be fresh. Nick, you can't be fresh. This is great. The dressing on this that you put on yes. this, is outstanding. Thank you. It really is. Thank you. And it's the simplest stuff. And you know, Mick oh, and I man. were talking about earlier about like how I make vinaigrettes. And she said, well, I recognize some of these ingredients. I said, you should recognize all of them because I make almost all of my vinaigrettes in a similar way. It has a base. That and is the base so delicious. Is, the, the base is a little sweetness. Yes. The base is a little bit of oil and right. a little, you know, fat. And then you have a little bit this of acid. Be, that'd be good on anything. anything. Okay. So we got we got two restaurants. Go. You got the uh, you got the Avenue End yes. in Milford. You got the Avenue End on, uh, yes. on Hope Street. We have, the, we have the pantry. And the pantry. Too. And, and drum roll, please. Here we go. It's going to be in August, everybody. It's going to be in August. I will not let you down. Honey Bird okay. is coming. I mean, August. Big stuff. Bring it up. And when I have the, the date, <laughs> when I have the date, breaking news will be right okay. here. Okay. All right. There you go. Real breaking it? news this time. You Not like it? I told three people before I told you, like last time. <laughs> okay. It's going to be actual break. We're going to break it right here on the Roadshow. Right here. All right. If you'd like the recipe for this, you can head over to our website, roadshow.com. It's delicious. Breaking news. Breaking news.